Hi, I'm Pierre Bernard, and I'm inside Jim Hanley's universe. It's probably one of the city's biggest comic book stores. In here, they have everything from uh, comics to toys to uh, Japanese foreign imports. This store is huge. And the reason I'm here today is to talk to a few people about Batman. This weekend, I wasn't able to get a ticket because it's all sold out. But I figured I could come here and talk to some of the comic fans and Probably a few people might have seen the movie and they could clue me in on what I've missed this weekend. Come on. This city deserves a better class of criminal. What did you think of it? I loved it. I thought it was fantastic. I thought that um, if you took the costumes away, that it's just a great crime drama and uh, a great... The comparisons I've heard are that it's very similar to Heat with De Niro and Pacino. Right. So it, it did feel like that. It felt like a very good crime noir movie as opposed to a comic book movie. Who do you prefer as Rachel Dorn? Katie Holmes or Maggie? I can never pronounce her last name. Um, I really like Maggie. I really like the way she performed just a little bit more in Katie. Katie was... Katie was much like what they did with Hulk versus the Incredible Hulk. Right. Where, you know, you have the character and it's kind of recognizable, but eh, there's something missing. Hmm. I, Maggie Gyllenhaal is definitely the better actress, and this is not a slight to Katie Holmes, but I just didn't believe her performance in the first movie. Uh, whereas with Maggie Gyllenhaal, it seemed like she had more to do, and it seemed like she really performed more so than reacted to everything that was around her. Right. Well, in, in terms of um, acting skills, I think Maggie Gyllenhaal is better. In terms of looks, Katie Holmes is better. <laughs> yes. Who do you think the next villain should be in Batman 3? Uh, that's an interesting question, which I don't have a good answer for. Because Batman's got such a phenomenal cabaret of characters. I would rather be surprised than to just sit back and go, oh yeah, well, I was kind of expecting him. I, I you know, this is really, really geeky, uh, but I would hope that they would keep with the criminal aspect and either go with either the Black Mask, Hugo Strange, or maybe even Maxi Zeus. Uh, the Black Mask was, in one of the comics, the head of all crime, so now that there's the Joker's in jail, there's still a vacuum as to who's gonna take over. Two choices for me, well three, either the return of Ra's al Ghul, Catwoman, or it's just a straight up crime drama, just have them finish off the mobs. I would think Catwoman would be and the next And we're praying thing. that it's nothing like a Halle Berry Catwoman. Uh, <laughs> yeah, um, I kind of like etched that out of my memory here, so uh, I, I, that never happened. <laughs> next villain, oh my god. That's a tough one, isn't it? Yeah, it's really tough. I don't even know their names, I but... Mean, personally, <laughs> a couple of people have said Catwoman, and I totally flipped. Yeah. As long as it's not Halle yeah, Berry. Yeah, no. No, that would be terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so there you have it. That's the words from the fan. This is Pierre Bernard saying goodbye, and we'll catch you next on the next Pierre Bernard's update.